all of IGCAC physics in 5 minutes. Let's have a look at the different graphs for motion, starting with the graph of speed increases, speed decreases, speed being constant, speed being stationary. And for the speed time graphs, acceleration increasing, acceleration decreasing, deceleration decreasing, deceleration increasing, when the graph is stationary and when it is constant. To find the speed in the distance time graph, look at the gradient and to find the distance do speed times time. For the velocity time graph, to find the distance, it is the area under the graph. Let's have a look at terminal velocity. The terminal velocity graph looks like this and at first the speed increases and air resistance increases and at terminal velocity the weight equals to the air resistance. Moment equals to the force times distance. When moment is in equilibrium, the anti-clockwise force equals to the clockwise force. Momentum equals to the mass times the velocity. The momentum can be either positive or negative depending on the direction. The principle of momentum states that the momentum before collision equals to the momentum after collision. Impulse is the change in momentum. Impulse is the force times the time taken in Newton and in seconds. The force is also the mass times the acceleration. Pressure in liquids. The pressure acts down on the object and increases with the depth. The formula for pressure in a liquid is density times gravity times height. How does a molecule exert pressure in a container? If we have a molecule in a container, it will hit the walls. The momentum could be positive or negative. The change in momentum, which is mv minus mu over t, will then result to the change in the pressure. Boyle's law, which is P1V1 equals to P2V2. When volume decreases, there's smaller space, resulting to more number of collisions and the pressure increases. Why, when temperature increases, the pressure increases. When the temperature increases, it gets faster as kinetic energy is present, number of collisions increase and pressure increases. Let's now talk about waves and when we start off with the formation of refraction, when the wave moves from a deep medium to a shallow medium, the wave fronts fr decrease as it passes through. Refraction is the bending of the wave. When looking at the equation, the speed is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. Let's have a look at the diffraction of a wave. When the wave is approaching a barrier like this, it diffracts like that. When the wave is approaching a bigger barrier, it diffracts like that. And when the wavefront is bigger than the barrier gap, it, dif it diffracts like this. Let's talk about the thermal physics. This is a heat curve. When talking about the boiling versus the evaporation, the boiling is at a fixed temperature throughout the liquid and stays constant. Evaporation is any temperature only on the surface and causes a cooling effect. Let's now have a look at the properties of a thermometer. The range is the difference between the maximum and minimum temperature, linearity is the rate of expansion, responsiveness is the response in the change in temperature, and sensitivity is the change of length per degree. Let's have a look at heat transfer. We have conduction, convection, and radiation. Let's have a look at light. The law of reflection states the angle of incidence equals to the angle of reflection, the incident ray, reflected ray, and the normal lie on the same plane. Characteristics of an image, it's virtual, upright, and the same size. Refraction is the bending of a light when traveling through a medium of a different density. Dispersion is the spreading of a light and disperses into Roy Gibiv. When talking about the total internal reflection, this is when the boundary of two mediums where the angle of, angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle. Let's have a look at magnetism. What is a magnetic force? This is a force caused by a magnetic field and magnetic field is the region where the magnetic force can act. When having a look at the types of magnetism waves, stroking, hammering and demagnetizing waves is hammering, heat and put it in AC. Factors affecting resistance is material, length, temperature and cross-sectional area. The Ohm's law states V equals to IR. Electromagnetism is the magnetic field produced due to passing current. Transformer, we have the ratio of turns. Let's have a look at atomic physics, starting off with the structure of an element. We have the chemical symbol, nuclear number, and proton number. Fission versus fusion. Fission is when nuclear splits and fusion when it joins. Nuclear radiation of alpha, beta, and gamma. The nature of alpha is helium negative 4, beta, high energy, gamma, electromagnetic radio. Charge, positive, negative 1, and 0. Mass goes from high to low, and penetration low to high. Radioisotopes uses traces, medical, smoke detector. Radiation dangers, it destroys living cells. 
and to prevent this use lead containers.